I'm not very steady, but I'm sure you can see the rime frost still on the trees. <laughs> it's a miserable grey foggy day, so we need something to do inside. So anyway, I've been sat near my fire downstairs on the computer in the warm spot. So I'm alright there. Anyway, I've had the little fan eater on up here. Now, um, you know I did this, didn't I? This, uh, these nice old wrenches, adjustables, you know, monkey spanners, call them what you will. Well, there was another one in those old tools. I haven't found a name on it yet, but it was really rusted up. And so, um, well, I was trying it in vinegar. You know, I've had it soaking in vinegar for a fortnight. And I took it out and it was dried up and just came up today and I just saw it and I thought, oh, I wonder if it's freed off enough to come off. Well, it had and it got to there. And here's the miracle. Um, I'll hold the camera there. You see that little tiny screw? <laughs> well, it actually came out. I just squirted it with WD and it, it was actually loose, came out. So we've got it to pieces, all right. So anyway, what I'm going to do is, using a drop of white spirit in here, I can do it in tide, you see. I'm just going to give these a wash off in white spirit and then water, and then we'll rotary wire brush them. And I'll have to use a bit of, um, down that slot, won't I? use something else down that slot but they should come out pretty good definitely worth doing this one because it was it's in pretty good condition compared to the other one but I think it'll be worth doing well there's only four parts to this so it shouldn't take very long and uh, we'll see how it comes out hang on I've got a, underneath here this, this brassy type wire brush as I say, it's just, this is obviously just to get the oil off, you know. And as I said, I've been soaking for a while. And so, uh, well, quite a while in vinegar up here. I just dropped them in a pot that I cut the top off and did that. So this is just to, obviously, because the threads and that are, it, came on undone I was a bit surprised actually I thought it would because it was absolutely rusted up and as I say I've been soaking it for a long while yeah that's all right and that little tiny screw I'll just have to give that a brush to uh, with this one without dropping it and as I say because I've been soaking you know in vinegar it's um it has removed a lot of the rust because this is one job where just brushing it off in solvent and then you wouldn't have got it to bits that's what i'm saying you wouldn't have got it to pieces so this is half done the job you see but uh as i say this screw it was that rusted in and i thought oh no way it'll come out but it has and just to I can actually probably if it focuses to show you that in the light look it's pretty clean already isn't it so that won't take a lot of cleaning I'll do this bit Oops. Dear. as I say it's warm in here now because I've had that little fan eater on you know but uh, I mean, I'll show you this one I've done in a minute. Oh. And you'll see it's, um, it's not going to take a lot to get this looking nice. So I'll just do this one. Because as I say, it's in, the reason I wanted to do this one was because one thing I liked it and the other thing, it's 
not been used a lot. It's all in pretty good condition. Right, I'm going to have to spend a little bit more time working on this. But uh, just to show you what we've got already. Right, it's going to come all right, isn't it? Right, I'll get this finished off. Right, well we've got them washed off. Went downstairs, washed them in soap. And uh, that, and I dried them of course. And I've wire brushed it. I've done that one. Now, I'm looking for a name, very faint, there's a six on there I can see, it's nearly gone, there is actually a name on that side, but anyway, not to worry about that. Anyway, I've got that pretty clean and what I did, using just a little bit of sandpaper like that, I've uh, run down that slot like that and I don't think you'll be able to see but there's it's uh, it's as good as the outside you know I'm, as I say I don't think you'll be able to see but it is you can just take from me it's as good as the outside and I've managed to uh, wire brush that little tiny screw without it grabbing hold of it and disappearing so we've not ruined the job and we've got that done look, which has come quite good. Well, come exceptional, hasn't it? So what I'll do, I'll just tip the camera onto the wire brush and I'll just let you see me do one, the easy bit, right? Uh, by the way, these wire brushes, they're very good. And it's a newish one because they're not too grabby. You know, they, they're worth having. more to do and it's getting a bit long-winded in it so I'll just show you that side look see and I have a little bit more to do on the other side but as I keep stressing you know doesn't hurt it at all and it's really been quick to do the only reason I soaked this in vinegar was because um, it was absolutely rusted up solid at the start got it all finished I hope that's clear enough for you to see it's I'm pretty good and the thing I liked about this it, they've normally been hammered to death haven't they and this hasn't it's just a shame that there is a mark there um, I've got glasses on can I I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not yeah you can just there see this side there there's a mark there, look, but tomorrow it'll probably focus all right, it looks to be, but I mean, I'm shaking a bit, sorry about that. But you can't read it, there's nothing legible on it anyway. So, what I'm going to do, I've got clean cloth and some linseed oil. So, I'm just going to put a drop of linseed on these. Uh, and then we'll put it together. Because, um, as I say, I, when I saw this, I thought, you know, it's in pretty good condition, this is. And uh, I thought it'd be all right, but it was absolutely rusted up. And so I thought, well, I will just put it in some vinegar and see, because you probably would have damaged it, you know, and you had to get the rust off, <laughs> obviously. You had to get the rust off from inside, not outside, as normal. That's the thing. So uh, we'll have to see how it goes, won't we? 
I'll put plenty in here and plenty on there. But uh, I know I've told you several times and I keep saying it, but you know, washing in solvent and then water and uh, rotary wire brushes, the quickest and easiest way of doing things, unless of course, like this one, as I've just told you once or twice, it's um, unless of course that it's uh, rusted up if it if you can't get to it that's the only time when it's better there we go I think we've covered that pretty well now let's see if it'll go together and uh, then we'll have a look what it looks like <clears throat> right that goes on like that see Up there. Now I've got the tricky bit of course because that has to screw on. Oh and when I took it off by the way uh, it took me, it should be quicker going on than not. I, I never tried this, I probably should have done but because I'm not sure if we're going right or not. Hmm. Try it the other way just because I've not, shouldn't make any difference, but it might. Or it might have to be nipped to perfection to go on. That's all, but it should screw, oh, there we are. I was wrong way around, you see. So you can see that it's screwing on. When I took it off, it took me a long, long time, even though it was free-ish, um, simply because it was, uh, I had to do it bit by bit, one tiny bit at a time, with the mould rips. But this now is, it'll go, it'll work in a minute when it's been up and down a time or two. Right, that's it, look. Got it done. Can you see it works? See it opening up and closing? My hand's not working very well actually today. There we are. Right. Well, I think that's not a bad afternoon's work, you know. It was, uh, I've got. I didn't. I'm not sure if I showed it or not on a previous video in vinegar. I think I did. Um, I'm not sure. Right, there you go then. Another one saved. I quite like this one. <laughs>